You go mano a mano with me. Your opening statement, please. Well, a couple of things. I'm glad you pointed out that some 56 to 58 percent of Americans are pro marijuana legalization. I stand with that majority of Americans and also such radicals as William F. Buckley, who once said, look, my position on this does not should not be confused as somebody who is indifferent to drug use. I'm not, as William F. Buckley was not especially with kids. I stand with you on that issue. Um, but there are a couple other stats as well. First of all, uh, when it comes to the drug war, some 80 percent of Americans plus, when polled about it, find that uh, it's a failure. Uh, we spend huge amounts of money on it. Seventy plus percent of Americans are pro-medical marijuana legalization. And 70 plus percent of even Texans in a very conservative state are pro-leniency for nonviolent drug offenders. We spend hundreds of billions of dollars since the DEA was formed on fighting this war. We incarcerate many, many people. We arrest 1.5 million, uh, some, I think, 48 percent of them marijuana convictions, m the majority of those for possession only. And people look at it and go, this is a cost-benefit analysis. Is what we are doing working? And All many right. people disagree, and that's where I stand. Well, you, you, you ran into the adult precincts uh, very quickly. These are the stats well, that, from that the White House. that matters when you're talking about legalization. It, but doesn't, it doesn't matter to me. I'll tell you why in a moment. 99.8% of federal prisoners sentenced for drug offenses were non-marijuana people. So that means only 0.2% in the federal system, okay? Right, in arrests the are high, system, incarceration is low. You're correct. Right. Very few people put it. So usually a, a summons, a traffic ticket. Um, Arrests that's right. are a so little that's, that's bigger a big, deal, but that's a big canard that doesn't. It's not truthful. But, are, but arrests have thing serious is, social costs as well. I'll just put that. Out the there. social costs of having legalized marijuana, as you'll see in Washington State and Colorado, will far outweigh the uh, banning oh, of it because you're going to have a that. mass, a mass of people on the roads. Uh, causing problems there, school problems, employment problems, and on and on. This THC is a very powerful intoxicant. It's not a buzz, beer buzz. It's much, much more. But I'm going to bring it back to what I brought it back last week when you and I had the shootout. You have a child now, all right? Yes, who, and by the way, did not sign up to be brought up on national TV in a drug I'm discussion, sorry, I'm but let's sorry, go ahead. But if you're going to advocate the legalization of marijuana, then you're going to have to answer questions about children. And your child is, I'm sure you love her more than anything in the world. You don't want that child at age 13 to 17 to be using marijuana. I know you, and right, I know and you I don't answered, want that. You I do said not that specifically want last week. That. So I said that. let's start there. You don't want that, okay? Correct. And that is the proper point of view. But by your stand, by mm -hmm. your acceptance, because that's what this is, it becomes socially acceptable, and all the polls say that. The kids, the teenagers think it's more socially acceptable now than ever before in the history of this country. And the use of marijuana is rising in all the high schools across the country. By the time your daughter gets to the teenage years, mm -hmm. pot will be like chewing gum, smoking a cigarette. All right, That's what it's going to be. That is going to harm the fabric, the motivation, the everything of this. One in six teenagers now gets addicted to marijuana once they try it. That number is going to go to three to six. Yes. Okay. And that's what's going to happen. Go. A couple things. Uh I do not want my daughter, since we're talking about her, to maybe drink a bunch of alcohol or have a tattoo when she's a teenager. Those things are legal. They might be inadvisable for my child, but I do not necessarily think that they have to be illegal, especially if it takes billions of dollars to keep them illegal. Uh, further, when it comes to alcohol and THC, I disagree with you fundamentally on the idea that I think people can enjoy Marijuana and alcohol in moderation. Right. Are we talking as adults, children wait, now? Wait, are we no, talking? As, okay. No. Well, then why as, are wait, you veering on, out of make, the children? Because realm? we're talking I about clear, legalization for adults. Okay. We're not I talking about legalization said, for children. See, this is what you did last week, and, I'm, and this is and what you're I doing again. When I answered the question last week, no. that's exactly what you're I did last week. You're petty fogging the issue by taking out of the children realm into the adult room. I clearly said, if adults want to use it, I have no problem with it, and they shouldn't be bothered. I clearly said that. You dodge the children issue because you can't justify it. What I happens just is yes, alcohol it for you. is a plague. 
More than 10 percent of American so, adults would you, addicted. Would you, would you and like children to are drinking that? all over the place. Well, so would you, you wanna, like to? No, would you, you like to prohibit it? Do you want to be a lady of temperance? Would you like to be a woman of temperance? No. You want to add crusade? to an already bad problem by making you another intoxicant a... socially acceptable. You That's want to perpetuate want. a system that is already not working. Is it working properly right now, Bill? All you have to is do is decriminalize solved? marijuana and send the message to children in a heavy-duty way. This is not a good substance. We you in this country are doing the it. opposite. We are saying it is okay. And you are part of the problem, Mary Catherine, but you will well, not you acknowledge a, it. You have a pretty daggone big platform. You can continue to say that. I will. And by the way, they're not legalizing it for children. It's just as illegal now as it was before. And Colorado has not fallen apart in 10 years of medical marijuana use. So we'll see what happens. All I right. look forward to the studies, which you do not have yet. All right. Mary Catherine Ham, everybody. When you come right back, Jesse Walker.